Hello everyone. Welcome to the Geoecologist. In this session on environmental geography, we are going to talk about ecosystem, its working and functioning. In the last session, we talked about the structure and components of ecosystem. So today we are going to continue with the same and learn about working and functioning. But before we go ahead, please like and subscribe to my channel, The Geoecologist, and you can also follow me on Instagram. Now, an ecosystem is a discrete body. It means it has a discrete structural, functional and life-sustaining system. Okay? So it is having its unique idea of its function. That's one important aspect of ecosystem. The environmental system, basically the ecosystem, the components of biotic and abiotic components that we talk about in a habitat. So it is important to understand the habitat is the basic unit all right where biotic and abiotic components are present and they are interacting with each other so biotic component of ecosystem includes all the living organisms that is flora and fauna okay including microbes whereas abiotic component includes inorganic matter and energy so let's see further that what ahead is there in terms of its work and its function of these components so abiotic components provide the matrix okay the solution the medium okay so matrix is basically a medium a framework for the synthesis now here is the key word to catch it's saying synthesis it means there is a creation involved a new creation is involved in this abiotic component plays a major role and what happens further it leads to perpetuation of organic components okay like protoplasm so if you have studied this structure of cell you understand the creation of organic components from where from the inorganic components that's how this system works then synthesis and perpetuation process involves energy exchange here is the key catch again energy exchange is again the core of ecosystem function and this energy comes from where obviously the sun the sun is the prime source of energy and that leads to the perpetuation of this process in the form of light or solar energy that is received to this primary producers now thus in any ecosystem what we have is the basic functional approach so that is in the ecosystem approach of functions let's understand that so first is the inorganic constituents air water mineral salts all these things are inorganic in nature then what we have is organisms so plants animals microbes okay so basically producers consumers and all the detritus so all these aspects are organisms part and then what we have is the third segment that is energy so largely what is this interplay interplay between inorganic organic and energy three points if you remember you understand the basic functioning of the ecosystem ecosystem is the basic unit and its function is in terms of three key components inorganic components organic components and energy only three major things you need to remember when we are talking about the functional aspect of the ecosystem so function of ecosystem let's learn about that if you see in this image interestingly you see sun is there plant is there animals are there decomposers are there and there is kind of a flow involved of energy so energy in the form of heat and then it flows through and again resurrects in the system so energy flows is important as a major function of ecosystem now let's learn this in a point wise format so that you can remember it and also you can write in your examination so first basic function is the regulation of essential ecological processes that is the subheading that you can put so it regulates the essential ecological processes supports life systems and renders stability so this is the major function of ecosystem to do what to render life okay to support life to sustain ecological processes and make stability in them so this is the basic function what else it is also responsible for the cycling of nutrients and minerals it means the cyclic process remember the basic principle of ecology so cycling of nutrients and minerals between again 
inorganic and organic biotic and abiotic components so it is important to cycle those nutrients so that is again the basic function of the ecosystem then what else the maintenance of balance among what among different levels of energy that is the trophic levels so if there is a balance between trophic levels there is a total balance in the system and that is the basic principle the homeostasis if you remember the basic principle of ecology so this function leads to maintenance of that proper balance okay amongst various trophic levels so it is important to understand that nature balances itself through this function of ecosystem then abiotic components help in the synthesis of organic components just imagine so abiotic that is completely lifeless components make it possible to synthesize life so life is coming from non life that is very interesting concept that ecosystem function has and that involves one important thing that is the exchange of energy so non living through energy exchange becomes living this is a very interesting phenomena that we need to understand and that's why we must also respect the non living that is the principle of ecology that everyone should care for non living components in the same way as they care for the living components because it's a system if you don't care for the non living the abiotic then the synthesis of organic components would get disturbed and again the entire system would be imbalanced right so that is what the major four functions of ecosystem are now we are going to learn about the working of these functions so let's understand the step wise operations how does it operate now the first basic idea is that radiant energy is coming from the sun and who receives it the primary producers the plants so reception of the radiant energy from the sun is the first step in this entire flow right then what happens manufacture of organic materials now the second step is when you have energy okay then what do you do then you manufacture okay so we get energy and then manufacturing starts so manufacturing of organic materials from inorganic ones by the primary producers the plants right so then from energy when organic material is produced then further what happens it is being consumed now the product is ready so who consumes it the consumers as we remember producers consumers so and the third is decomposers so this third step is the consumption stage where the what products have been made through the usage of that energy is now being consumed in the third step and further elaboration of consumed materials this is what happens in the third step then what happens further after the death of those consumers and producers okay the first two steps that we see complex organic compounds are degraded now there is a degradation phase so if you draw a diagram suppose a graph how will you represent starting from zero it rises up and again it achieves stability and again it goes down so that kind of curve you can draw to show this flow okay so what happens complex organic compounds are degraded and finally converted by decomposers the detritivores remember the bacteria and the fungus so those are the important parts and as we remember earthworm nematodes so those are responsible converters into such forms as suitable for reutilization by the producers so then again what happens these nutrients go back to the producers so this cyclic step wise process operation keeps happening in the system so this is the major working and functioning of the ecosystem that we must understand and we also need to understand how to describe it using various diagrams examples and labeling it properly remember many a times people tend to draw the arrows of the flow differently so what happens if you change the arrow it means the flow is described through arrows so remember to put your arrows properly when you are talking about any diagram you are discussing ecosystem energy flows nutrient flow all these things okay so label your diagram properly discussion should be encompassing the basic principles of ecology so always quote the basic principles of ecology so you'll get good marks whenever you write your answers
so thank you for watching and subscribing to the geoecologist this was all about the functions of ecosystem we are coming up with more such lectures so stay tuned stay safe and keep learning thank you so much